Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining and welcome back to Wall Street Silver. Our guest today is my good friend, Bart Brands. Bart is a precious metals specialist at Gold Republic and a certified security intelligence professional. Welcome back to Wall Street Silver. Thank you. Thank you for having me on such a short notice again, Ivan. We we spoke to each other last week and uh, yeah, another uh, another great week for precious metals. Yeah, I wanted to get you on because there's so much excitement building up right now, especially with how the global economy is looking. Let's dive right into it. Gold, silver. First, we'll start off with gold. Uh, so many people are on online are talking about you know central banks and they're buying so much gold at record pace the, this past year. Can you speak on that and why are central banks uh, buying so much gold? Well, if you look at the history of gold, and and just to mention, because gold closed today actually in the euro and at a new all time high, so really more than seventy eight thousand six hundred euros for one kilogram of gold, which is uh, another all time high. Which is, I think, it might might be the twenty fifth or twenty sixth all time high that that gold closed in in when when measured in euros. So it's just it's been an amazing. 10 months up uh, up until now in 2024 so and the reason why central banks are are buying gold in record pace well first of all because uh central banks know what's coming up and uh, so if you look at what central banks say versus what they do is i would always look at what they're doing and not at what they're saying right because well most of them are saying that the economy is fine <laughs> uh, that now with lowering interest rates uh, we should be um uh, it should be smooth sailing <laughs> and there are no hard landings uh, and so but what are they doing well, they're buying record amounts of gold and they have been buying record amounts of gold for years now. So, you know, and, and you can see it with these uh, with these new all time highs every couple of days now. So I would always uh, suggest that if you uh, hit, listen to what central banks are saying versus what they're doing, just do what they do, because they're buying gold hand over fist. Yeah, I absolutely agree. And Bart, you, a lot of people online are noticing like, uh, and the huge talk is like, you know, will gold and silver ever have, I guess, that gl that global kind of uh, effect that Bitcoin and all these cryptos do with the youth? You know, cryptos, Bitcoin, everyone, it came out, blew up with the youth, but still silver and gold is <clears throat> is quite not there. Do you think it'll ever get there? I think it's inevitable because if you look at gold and what the track record has been of uh, gold, then uh, I always say the the reintroduction of a gold standard is inevitable. Right. So it, it it will happen. I'm not sure, of course, when it will happen. It might be a year. It might be ten years. Might even be a hundred years. But and and that then of course wouldn't affect us uh, directly, but the reintroduction of a gold standard is inevitable. And, and I think more and more uh, youth uh, are, are seeing what the potential of gold is and are trying to protect their purchasing power with gold as well. We at Gold Republic, our, our um, medium um, age of our customers has, has dropped for, it's, it's dropped, I think, at least 10 years in the last five years. So Monetary Metals is offering 12% on silver, paid in silver in a historic offering. The first silver bond in over 150 years. There's about $15 trillion worth of precious metals in the world, all sitting there. It's just absolutely insane. Monetary Metals is bringing gold back into the financial world, putting gold to productive use right now. The problem with gold, of course, in physical form is that it's heavy, it's not easy to ship, and it costs money to store in a protected manner. This platform allows gold to be put to productive use, so instead of sitting there costing you money, it's actually in use earning you money. Learn how you can earn 2 to 5% in our leasing program and how accredited investors can earn up to 12% on silver, paid in silver. This advertisement is not investment or financial advice. Minimum investment applies. So the wow. average buyer of gold, uh, the age of the average buyer has dropped for at least 10 years in the, in the average four or five years. So we see most of our new customers are, are actually the 25 to 40 year, 40 year olds. That's so that interesting. Are, yeah, yeah, that are really seeing their purchasing power being eaten away by inflation, high inflation, um, purchasing right. power that is just 
eroding and and of course everybody sees it if you go to the grocery store and i know in canada this is a very big problem but the same is uh, it's the same in, in the netherlands as well and across europe is that everything is just becoming so much more expensive and yeah so it, it, it is not i think uh, and of course i think cryptocurrencies are a great way to get introduced to finance right uh, and and managing your own portfolio but we see an enormous amount of young people going into gold going into silver of course buying silver because it's a lot cheaper than gold it's right. not it's, it hasn't reached its nominal all-time high yet um, but gold as well it's uh, it's just uh, everybody wants gold yeah no i totally agree and uh, what you said there is, is super critical everyone wants gold everyone really wants to protect their purchasing power uh, you know the 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 age demographic is getting younger and younger and uh, you know a lot of these people i guess who are looking at their finances who are young in their 20s and 30s are i guess looking out and saying holy like we can't buy a house in the future like what you were saying about canada i read an article bart a few months ago about uh, military canadian military members eating at food banks yeah yeah it's uh, and it's the same across the world actually because of course we have a, a huge crisis going on in in china as well uh, north america the united states are uh, are having big problems uh, and yeah it's the same across europe as well so we see a lot of people that even though they have a full-time job sometimes even have a, a side hustle one or two side hustles they still need to really um really scrounge everything together uh and having a really hard time just to pay basic bills and, right. and yeah so everybody's waking up to um to uh central bank policy fiscal uh policy of of uh, countries and that's why what we discussed last week i think there is one more ace up the sleeves of um of uh, the for example the european union or or um or central banks and that's the the, the introduction i think it's going to be a very fairly fast introduction of a central bank digital currency um, yeah, that's the, that's the only way they can try to kick the can down the road a little bit further before everything really starts to uh, starts to collapse. And but mm -hmm. everybody sees it coming. <clears throat> yeah. And of course, there's there are still a lot of people that don't invest in gold, don't invest in silver. So I would tell everybody, even if you only have, um, you know, 10, 20 bucks left at the end of the month try to invest it really try to uh, uh, prepare for this uh, upcoming collapse because it's it's coming fast and, and it's going to be rough and it's it's been rough for the last couple of years for for hundreds of thousands millions of people yeah it's been absolutely crazy Bart and you're yeah. looking at uh, <clears throat> like let's say will when the boiling point comes and let's say the US dollars collapsing and you're starting to see really some financial hardships around the world where it's hitting that boiling point uh will it be too late for them to get into silver and gold at that point i i don't think it's ever too late to get into silver and gold that's a good I answer think if, <laughs> yeah you know it's never too late so if you and for example let's say the, at this record high right in 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 the in the euro measured in the euro we just reached the new all-time high mm -hmm. i always say let's say you have a thousand dollars right and and you want to start investing and of course you know i totally understand if you don't want to invest a thousand dollars at all-time high of of gold then well first of all look at silver but secondly also buy gold but buy let's say uh Invest two hundred two and a half thousand dollars in, or uh, two hundred and fifty dollars in in gold right now. Right, and then dollar cost average the seven fifty into it, uh, because <laughs> you know you you really you have to invest because it, the I I'm I'm pretty certain that it's not going to be uh, that the the fiscal financial situation in the world isn't going to be better anytime soon no so if you look at all this uh, for example financial repression by governments and and one one uh, i think um, very nice um, a very nice example of this financial repression just last week right mm -hmm. just last week in the netherlands they introduced uh, a bill where 
uh, if you want to immigrate out of the Netherlands and you want to go to a, let's say, tax haven like Dubai, right? then uh, starting most most likely next year, you will have to pay five years of taxes, Dutch taxes, even though you go to Dubai where you have 0% income tax. That's crazy. You would then have to pay the Dutch government five years of taxes to uh, just to immigrate. Uh, and, and so, <laughs> or so, so if you want to, if you want to um, leave a high tax country for a low tax country, be prepared for, for uh, financial repression. Also, of course, the introduction of a central bank currency is a uh, central bank digital currency is, is uh, I think a prime example of, uh, of uh, the next level of, cent- of uh, financial repression where governments will and central banks will just do everything they can to right. uh, to kick the can down the road and to uh, yeah to to extend and pretend as uh, a, a <laughs> famous Dutch economist always say says and yeah so so be be prepared but until that time until the time prepare yourself because right. if you fail to prepare you prepare to fail of course and I think just purchasing even a, a smaller amount of uh, of gold and silver right now and dollar cost average into a position that could save you, uh, but also maybe uh, your family or the next generation uh, from from being um, uh, well uh, financially ruined. I yeah. think that's a, that's a very good opportunity, even with these high prices. Because four or five years ago, people would call me and say, "Bart, the 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 uh, one kilogram of gold is thirty five thousand euros." They'd right? say that six months ago. They say, "Oh, two thousand dollar gold is too much." Six months ago, people were people were selling gold at the beginning of this year and saying sixty thousand euros for one kilogram of gold is so much it could never sustain this level. And now, now it's we're what? up. Uh, we're up uh, more than 18,000 euros from that point. So oh, yeah, that's crazy. You know, it, it's and, and all those people are now uh, thinking about that decision they made and, and are really regretting that they sold their gold thinking it, 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 it would, um, it re- would revert or correct the, the, the course would correct. And of course, price corrections are always, uh, not yeah, only yeah. do they always occur, they might even be healthy sometimes. Um, and that's why you dollar cost average. Wow. Yeah, you absolutely nailed it, Bart, like from beginning to the end. And that was a great explanation on, you know, like, is it too late to buy gold or silver? No, it's never too late. Uh, it's but never too late. Yeah, fantastic answer. Well, Bart, I want to thank you so much for coming down to Wall Street Silver. Again, it was such a huge pleasure. I'll put your description to your Instagram and to the Gold Republic Instagram in the link below. In the link below. Uh, but yeah, anyone watching, please like the video. And yeah, thank you again, Bart, for coming. You're welcome, Ivan. And I'll uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks, probably. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right. All right. Take care.